Hi, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import recurring transaction lists into QuickBooks Online from a text or an Excel file. So before I do that, let's just run through what the basics of a recurring transaction is in QuickBooks Online. So the feature is great and allows you to save a lot of time and automate the creation of invoices or bills or journals. These are for transactions that repeat or recur. They'd be like a similar to a memorized transaction that was in QuickBooks desktop, if you're familiar with those. Now, what you might want to do is you may say have a few hundred um, customers who you want to send a invoice to, and that's a monthly subscription type invoice. And um, you can set up a template in QuickBooks Online, which will generate those automatically for you. Now this feature is in the plus and essentials version of QuickBooks Online. Now let's have a look at one of those and see what they look like in, in QuickBooks Online. So I've logged into my QuickBooks Online company file and I'm gonna to go to the cog and select recurring transactions. So in here, we've got two simple templates that we've created. One is for a reminder type template, which will just pop up and remind you to um, create the transaction. Or the other type is a scheduled recurring transaction where QuickBooks will actually go ahead and create the invoice um, on a monthly basis. Does this one I've got set up here? So let's have a look in more detail at how those are set up. So typically when you set those up, you would take a invoice that's been created for that customer and you'd select it to be become a recurring invoice. And then you'd give the template a name. You would say what type of um, recurring transaction you want, whether you want it scheduled, i.e. QuickBooks will create it for you, a reminder or an unscheduled, which is just a non QuickBooks won't actually create it, but it'll put it in the list there if you want to use the template for something else. Um, it allows you to set the um, number of days in advance that it should create that transaction. Um, and then there's details here about um, whether it's a customer. So in this case, it's an invoice. So there'll be a customer, the email. They'll show you the how often it will create that transaction. So you can do it on a daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly basis, as well as saying when you want to create that. So if it's on the eighth day of the month, um, or you want to do the first Monday or the third Wednesday or so on. Um, and it will tell you how many months. So if you want to do every month, you'd set in there. Bi-monthly would be two months and so on. And then the start date for the transaction. And also the ability to end the scheduled transaction after a number of occurrences. There's quite a lot of powerful functionality in here that when you come to configuring um, these types of scheduled transactions. Um, but if you had, say, 200 or 300 customers that you want to run a monthly invoice or send a monthly invoice automatically to, that's going to be a lot of creation of these types of recurring template, which will take you a, a lot of time. But with Z Access, what we can do is we can create those templates very easily in Excel and then automatically import those and create them directly in QuickBooks Online for you. So let's just show you how you do that. So what I've done is I've opened Z Axis on my desktop and I'm going to connect to my QuickBooks Online company file. So I logged into QuickBooks Online and then I've pasted the tokens into this screen. Let me click Save. And Axis will establish a connection to your company file. So next I'm going to click on the Import tab and I browse to the file that contains the recurring transaction details that I want to import. So here's an example of the file that contains the, um, the details for the recurring transactions. Now, one thing that you'll notice is when we're creating these recurring transactions, we need to base that on a transaction actually in QuickBooks. So we need to have a, um, in this example, we've got an invoice and it's the invoice number 10001, and it's to this particular customer. Now, these need to exist so that we can then add the recurring details to that transaction. So that's one important point to consider before you import 
into QuickBooks Online these trend recurring transaction details. So um, in your import file, we have templates which you can download from our website that contains all this information. You can base your data in this. So you'll need a document number, you'll need a name for the template, you'll need to say the um, customer or the vendor or the name that is associated with the transaction and the transaction type and so on. Whether the recurring type is day of the week and a lot of fields here which you can set when you're importing those details. Next, we're going to create a new mapping. And this is going to be, so we'll select the transaction type as recurring transaction. And what we do here is match the fields in QuickBooks Online to the columns in our import file. So we know we've made this quite simple so the names match, but they don't necessarily need to match, but you just need to line them up. The ones marked in yellow are mandatory in order to create a template. So if you need help with understanding um, what each of these fields are and what information you should provide there, we have provided a link on this part of the screen, which will take you to our website, which has an article and will run through how to import those as well as all the fields that um, you need to map and what information you'll need to provide. So for example here, transaction type needs to be one of these particular values and so on. So we'll go through and match all these. So once we've mapped the fields that we need, we don't necessarily need to map all of them, um, but in this example I will. Um, we'll give it a name so that we can use this map if we need to on a subsequent import. And we'll click Save. So once the mapping's been applied, we can go through and we can import these into, into QuickBooks. Access will validate the data and then we'll begin the process of importing those um, recurring transaction templates directly into QuickBooks. So you'll now see that those two recurring transaction templates have been imported. Let's go into QuickBooks and see what they look like. So open QuickBooks, select recurring transaction list. And there you can see the two new schedules that we've just imported into QuickBooks. So very simply, that's how you can import, or that's how you can import recurring templates from Excel or text files directly into QuickBooks online using ZX.